entrance antiphone. We should glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, life and resurrection, through whom we are saved and delivered. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A lady of the skies parish and all who would visit us today, we begin the same very moment, the holy of holy times. So we ask at this moment that we ask Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins, to forgive them now. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son went about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon in the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake in it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You must take it from either the goat or the sheep. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. And then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. The same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generation shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response is, our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Our, our blessing, blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Christ. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bounds. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Our blessing, blessing cup, cup 
is a communion with the blood of Christ. The second reading is from the first letter to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory, glory to you lord. lord before the feast of the passover jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the father he loved his own in the world and he loved them to the end but the day induced judas the son of simon iscariot to hand him over so during the supper fully aware that the father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter who said, Master, are you going to wash my feet? <clears throat> Jesus answered and said, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will not have inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said, Whoever has bathed has no need to accept to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet, he put his garments back on and reclined at table, and he said to them, Do you realize that I, what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore the master and teacher have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that, as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <coughs> my dear brothers and sisters I have taken a chance an outdoor mass and we got about a 30 mile an hour wind out here it's outdoors and there's a lot of pollen so we have sound effects today I'll be next so if you see me Stephen and it's we're all together as a family uh, and I think about this outdoor mass I can remember uh, at scout camp doing this outdoors I remember that well in the field in the military, saying mass in the back of a C-130, and many of you in the uh, other armed forces in the battlefield. So this is nothing new to you who have served in the field. And this might be the uh, uh, commons uh, uh, set up in the future, who knows? Uh, but we are definitely ab abiding by the rules here, that's for sure. Uh, we might do it inside tomorrow. Anyway, my dear friends, this is a joyful day. It's, a, it's a beginning of the holiest of holy times, the Trigium. But what is so beautiful about today's Mass and this whole theme is that Jesus institutes the Holy Eucharist. The fifth luminous mystery with, with the saint that John Paul II gave us and the luminous mysteries, he instituted the Eucharist for us. And he did that at the Last Supper, using the Passover lamb, the Passover meal, using that as, a, as, as the Old Testament foundation. He himself says, I am very appropriate. I am the Lamb of God. I am the sacrifice. And of course, the poor disciples didn't understand that at the time. But it was the institution of the Eucharist. But bread and body and blood of Christ instituted for us. But before he did that, you know, he uh, he, he talked about 
He is one with the Father, and the Trinitarian formula was there. The, uh, the great love of, of, of companionship, of camaraderie, as we are uh, hopefully enjoying each other during this, this time, this COVID-19. We're all getting along and the best we can. But just envision the apostles in the upper room all together. And so Christ washes the feet of the apostles. Now, what's important about that, the Son of God, the one who created those 12 and all of us, gets down on his knees and washes their feet. This is humility. Anybody who is in leadership positions, and some of you are, as a families, commanders, <clears throat> first sergeants, or just leaders, we always have to be servants of the others. That's the most important thing. And that's the way Christ shows us that this is a sacrament of sacrifice, of humility, of loving one another beyond. And how do we do that now as we're, you know, we're, we're all inside and, and quarantining or what have you and being indoors? We could pray the rosary together. I said this in the last Mass on Palm Sunday. You could certainly say the family rosary. Invite the Blessed Mother into your home. You know, uh, they said that she wasn't at the Last Supper, but I bet you she was there, there uh, getting the meals together. You know, I've heard the uh, Father Grishel say that. He said, Mary was there with Martha and, and Mary and the rest of them. They were there. But at the table, Christ said, this is my body. This is my blood. Institution of the Holy Eucharist. And then what does he say? Do this in remembrance of me. What sacrament is he just instituted there? Holy orders. That's right, everybody. You knew that. I always ask you questions and everybody puts their head down. I see it. From, I can see it from here. <laughs> so, yeah, he institutes the Holy Sacrament of Orders. Join together with the Eucharist. That's why every priest that might be listening to this today, any deacon, we're, we're joined to that, especially priest, the priesthood. As we consecrate the, the body and blood of Christ, we are joined to the Eucharist. We must be Eucharistic men. And then we can then teach our people to be Eucharistic people. And unfortunately, after this Mass, we don't have the washing of the feet, nor do we have the magnificent of procession. But that's where we all walk together, and we can do that spiritually, my friends. Uh, certainly watch the Holy Father and the various Masses at the various basilicas to watch the processions, but it's in our heart. Let Christ process in our heart, and we process with Him as we go forward this day. So my dear friends, uh, I know you can't physically receive the Blessed Sacrament today, but let him come into your heart today in a very special way. Like that beautiful prayer at the end of Mother Angelica's Mass, they recite that beautiful uh, spiritual uh, communion. And just do that after at the end of Mass and uh, for the rest of the uh, Tridium. We'll talk more about the schedule after Mass. Let us now stand now and profess our faith. <clears throat> and again, let us employ the Apostles' Creed. I believe, believe in God, God the, the Father Almighty, 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 creator of heaven and earth, and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life, life everlasting. Amen. In this holy time of the Lord's Passion, when Christ offered prayers and supplications to his Father, with loud cries and tears, let us humbly beseech God that in answer to his Son's reverent submission, he may mercy, mercifully hear our prayers today. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For, for the Church, the Bride of Christ, may be more fully cleansed by his precious blood in this time of his passion, we pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For church leadership, from our Pope, our Bishop Timothy, Robert, the local bishop here, may he always be the, the good shepherds, shepherding his priests and his people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That through the blood of Christ's cross, all things in the world may be brought to peace for the sake of salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That Almighty God may grant fortitude and patience to all who, through sickness or hardship, especially in the COVID-19 plague, have a share in Christ's passion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That by the power of the Holy Cross of Jesus Christ, and by our joint prayers, the COVID-19 plague may be wiped out. 
by our prayers through Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That we may all be led through the Lord's passion and cross to the glory of his resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are sick from this virus and other sick people with serious illnesses, may God heal them as the master physician today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who have died, marked with the sign of faith, that they may rest in the arms of Christ and rise with him on Easter Sunday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for those prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Be present, O Lord, to your people at prayer, so that we, what they do not have in the confidence or presumption to ask, they may obtain by the merits of your Son's holy passion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Share the divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. You can humble yourself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these holy mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is a true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his precious blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory is without end as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, <clears throat> giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat, eat this bread and, and drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, o Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and <clears throat> recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you from their passing at, this li at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, form of divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. <coughs> Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit, spirit, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. peace. <clears throat> this is the body and the blood, soul and divinity of the Lord Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only, only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Please be seated. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, my dear friends, uh, Trimia has, be Tritium has begun. I thank my family of Schmuggies and Cynthia Wood, and who's helped me assist me at Mass today, my videoer, videographer. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow's schedule is as follows. We have a 3 o'clock uh, Divine Mercy Chaplet, uh, which uh, we'll do at 3, and then following the readings for Good Friday. You know, naturally, we can't have a communion service, but we'll have the readings, a brief, brief uh, talk. And then after that, the Stations of the Cross. And I'll then after that, I will bless you with a relic of the true cross that I have. They, uh, they join and you get a special blessing for that for sure and just one other, one other thing my friends for uh, my this is my month the uh, month of may is when i celebrate my 40th anniversary as a priest this is a very special day for me and it was kind of tough as uh, you know i can't even be with my brother priest maybe in spirit as i've talked to you before but it is very difficult for me as i look you look at you right now that normally we get together as our brothers and we can't even do that because of this awful virus. He'll be defeated by, by prayer. But I just had to share that with you. This is very painful for me, uh, painful, but yet I got my family here and you got your families. Let's hold on to that. It's the greatest treasure that we have besides the Eucharist. Besides the Eucharist. Uh, please bow your head and pray for God's blessing. Remember your mercies, O Lord. And with your eternal protection, sanctify your servants, for whom Christ, your Son, by the shedding of his precious blood, established the Paschal mystery, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 And the, again, the schedule is, before I give the final benediction, my parishioners know I always do this. Three o'clock service tomorrow. Now, Saturday, there'll be no Mass, because it's the vigil, vigil Mass given to the RCIA and the Catechumen. Therefore, Three o'clock service tomorrow, Good Friday, Sunday, 12 noon, Easter Sunday. So you can sleep in. 
<laughs> May Almighty God bless you, my brothers and sisters, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And our prayer. Say, Michael, Michael the, the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the